Recent events in Westminster have cast dark shadows over all of politics, and one of the government's key strategies in cleaning that image up is to strengthen local democracy. The community secretary, John Denham, has launched a wide-ranging consultation paper with a view to passing more power to councils and making councillors the accountable scrutineers of all public services. We're proposing today to give councils more powers, which, taken with everything we've done the last few years, I think amounts to the biggest shift of power from the centre to local people in a generation. We're giving local government, or want to give local government, more powers to scrutinise nearly all of the public service spending in their areas. Uh, we want to put them at the forefront of the work against cl tackling climate change and we raise some important questions about how in future Parliament keeps an eye on the relationship between central and local government. While the consultation steers clear of the hot potato of local government finance and proposes no further restructuring, it does cover a wide range of topics. There are proposals to give councils greater autonomy and power to innovate and address local challenges. But it's also asked whether greater powers should be dependent on councils improving their image with local people. The paper asks how the relationship between local and central government should be articulated and monitored. Should there be an ombudsman or a joint select committee? And there is also talk of developing local carbon budgets. But the most notable proposals in the paper would put councils and councillors at the centre of local decision making by giving councils the power to scrutinise all local public services and the money spent on them, making councillors elected watchdogs on behalf of citizens. If you elect a councillor, I think you should feel, I'm not just electing somebody who can come back to me about the council's own services, but if there are real problems in the area about the way the health service is being delivered or the policing strategies in the area, that that councillor should be able to get the council to look at them, to hold people to account, to inquire into what they're doing. Mr Denham will wait now to gauge reaction to his proposals. Councils are likely to be supportive of being given greater power and some people will ask whether it goes far enough. Either way, with the clock ticking until the next general election, the government will need to be quick.